What's up YouTube? We're back with yet another video. Today we have the GWG 2000 Mudmaster. I'm so excited. I finally got it in hand. Um, it's We got a little late, believe it or not, compared to other countries. I think Japan got it first and the US has now recently re received it. You can pre-order directly to Casio, but let's check it out. Let's go! All right, so here we go. We have the GWG 2000 series, guys. This is the GWG 2000 series. A lot of people are uh, excited about this new release, an update to the old GWG 1000, which is a very popular model, and a lot of people are excited to see the um, Mudmaster line get an update. But here it is. I got the uh, Japanese version box. Um, Nothing different in terms of the actual watch. This is exactly the same watch that is going to be released across the other countries, including the USA. But I thought I'd get it in order directly from Japan. So here it is. The Japanese version comes in a little box set. I'll open it up. So it is an unboxing and it's also going to be an overview. I'm going to do two different, so maybe three different videos on this particular watch. The first one will be an unboxing. The second, including the overview of the watch. Then I'll do a video on how to operate the functions on the watch. All that is included. And then thirdly, the video will be a comparison between the GWG 1000 and a GWG 2000 series watch. Now, um, I didn't want to do one video because they will be too lengthy and it will be overwhelming, I think, for the viewer. So um, I thought I'd separate that. And uh, here is the manual that's included, <laughs> included in the box here. It's a 5678 module. That's the actual inner components, the, te the tech inside of the watch. 5678 is actually machine. Uh, Japan manual in here, but uh, neither here or there. Let's put this to the side. Just want thought I'd show you that. Um, put this to the side there, and let's check this baby out. GWG 2000. All right, standard master of G G Shock trunk case included in this series, and then here is the watch. Here we go. GWG 2000. Now. A lot of different changes, um, not drastic changes, but there are some significant changes when it comes to this watch. And we'll discuss that now, um, or actually I'll discuss that later with the GWG 1000 comparison. But just in overview, this watch was released in November um, of uh, 2021. And they're starting to trickle into the States now, but it's a little hard to find. Uh, the retail price though is a whopping $800 for this model if purchased in the US and it's 699 pounds if purchased in the UK. Um, you can order for Japan, but you'll probably um, have to face some custom charges, some shipping fees. So overall, unless you want it really fast, I might consider uh, recommending that you wait and get it from the US. Now this watch is absolutely stunning. It's a beast, it's a tank, it's a mud master. And look at that, you can see right there, and I'll explain to you guys momentarily what's going on with that. But let's just kind of absorb the watch itself. There you go. Capture some of the fine details of this piece. And now we'll do a macro shot just to capture and even finer details. Some of the beautiful aesthetic design of this beautiful, gorgeous watch. Okay, there you guys have it. It is robust, it is a tank, it is a big watch, but it is very, very tough. So you get a lot of technology with this watch. Some things that I think should have been included and are not, considering that it is a 2000 series, the new generation of this watch, and also factoring the fact that it costs $800. So um, it is a lot of watch, a lot of technology, but I think they could have added some additional features to really make it stand out um, uh, compared to the 1000 series. Now this one, Currently comes in three different colorways. You have this one here, the gray monocone or monotone gray color. I'm going to say it's black, but it's uh, they're calling it a gray. So you have the gray color version. You also have the green khaki color. And then you also have the 30 final color re released in sand beige. So there are the pictures of those three. I'm excited mostly because they will be using this particular module, this model, to create limited editions in the future, just like they did in the past. And I can't wait to see what they have 
to offer. Um, similar to the Maharishi they had released, they had a red color, yellow colored, um, a ton of different options and I can't wait to see what they will have available with this particular model moving forward. So let's talk about what's going on with this watch. Overview of this watch, you have a, far, uh, a Forge carbon, carbon bezel and that's actually what you see there. Um, right on those pieces there, you can see it looks like melted, kind of forged components there. It looks like it's got recycled parts, but it's actually forged carbon, which means that it's actually forged, including with carbon fiber, which makes it reinforced resin, makes it stronger than pretty much, they said stronger than metal and stronger than just resin in general. So it is also really lighter as well. So it gives you a, a, a lighter watch with a tougher face or tougher compound on the actual watch. Uh, this one is also, it is tough solar. So you have um, tough solar movement. You can see that right there, tough solar, triple sensor, and it's also multiband six. So you get that beautiful tough solar multiband six technology, which means that it will sync every night um, around probably 5 a.m. Between 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. It will sync, receive a signal from the towers locally, um, and then give you accurate time up to the second every night if possible because sometimes it could get it could get obstructed the signal could get obstructed if you have it close to metals or um, away from a window or hidden in a closet or in a drawer somewhere it may not capture this signal but for overall this watch is guaranteed to be accurate damn near every day <laughs> all right so this is a triple sensor watch you can see there it's got barometer thermometer and compass all in this watch so i'll go through the functions here bottom left button you can see it says triple sensor there. Go through barometer, temperature. That's your uh, recall some information. Stopwatch, timer, alarms, world time, RC for receiving the signal, and then back to your home time. So barometer, right there. Temperature gauge. Could change that. All those functions to um, change between um, different metrics, metrics, timer, alarm. It should have five timers or alarms. Four, three, two, one. That's five. Signal, alarm five, four, three, two, one. So five alarms um, on this particular model. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's a robust model. Um, it does have stainless steel buttons. You can see them there. Stainless steel buttons, which is great because it does give you a nice luxury feel doesn't feel plastic and cheap, but it's also um, behind those robust buttons, you actually have a um, a silicone buffer, um, which actually protects the watch from getting mud. So uh, behind these extra buttons, there is a silicone buffer that keeps any mud or residue or anything going inside and um, affecting the module. So that's why it's called the Mud Master. All right, in addition to that, this watch is 20 bar, 200 model resistance, and it does have a sapphire crystal, which makes it extra protective extra strong and uh it can withstand a lot of damage and actually scratches on the glass because it is sapphire on the crystal um this band does have this resin band but you can see that it has that textured um band on there so it's actually non-slip so in case you have your hands are wet or something it gives you a nice little grip on the watch same on the other band you can see that texture there on the band itself pretty nice and I will show you a macro of that as well so you can get a really close up look. All right, and it does have a steel. You can see there around the steel bezel under, under the forged carbon bezel. All right, now let's check out the actual back light on this puppy. You can see the luminescent glow on the hour marker. So you have that, uh, the 12, 3, 6, and 9 positions, that glow, but you also have the markers on the 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, and 11. So it gives you a great look and great visibility even in night conditions. So let me light up this LED light there. You can see how beautiful it is. Beautiful bright LED light and it's dual LED. Dual because it does um, illuminate the analog hands but it also gives you a digital light that gives you um, a nice display or you could get a good readout of the digital display right there. Like I mentioned earlier, this watch is pretty big. Like I said, I have a uh, six and a half inch wrist. Here's my Casio Oak, which is actually a small frame watch. I have a small wrist, so in comparison to that, you can see that how, <laughs> how humongous 
and how it dwarfs my um, oak Casio oak watch. I'm gonna remove the Casio oak and put out the Mudmaster, put it on to see how it looks on my wrist, um, which I know is gonna be. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Oh, it's actually it's actually very very light. I'll put the I'll put the weight of the actual watch on the screen there so you guys can see it. Um, but look at that. It's not. I mean, it is big just because it's it's thick, I would say, but it doesn't look disgusting on the on the wrist. It is very light compared to the GWG1000, but I'll explain that in the third video as um I do a comparison between the old generation versus the new generation. But it is very comfortable. It's very light. It also almost feels toyish on the wrist because it's, it's extremely light on there. Um, I'm surprised. I'm actually very surprised about how light this watch is. You can see that it does have um, a metal clasp there for the uh, end there. All right, for the buckle there, it is metal. It looks like it's a um, stainless steel brushed metal on the end there. All right, and then the new change, and I'll discuss that as well. Recover that again. It does have a resin band keeper instead of the old metal ones, which I think. I favor the resin over the metal, but some people would disagree. Okay, here's the back plate of the watch, carbon carbon core guard. Uh, this is the GWG2000 multiband 6 steel back. GWG2000, water resist 20 bar, 200 sapphire crystal, like I mentioned earlier. Compass altimeter display and modes. So we'll discuss some of the functionality later. You can see the carbon core guard right there. Nice, robust design, but it's actually supposed to make it thinner. Um, so this one, the dimensions of this particular watch, uh, this watch, it comes in at a whopping dimensions of 61.2 by 54.4 by 16.1 millimeters. So here we have, um, I'll show you guys that. Here's my trusty device here i'm going to zero that out and then starting off with the 16.1 in thickness so you can capture that now it should be from bezel it should be from bezel um which is right here the bumper guard all the way to the back so let's see if we could measure that so i'm going to zero this out here all right we're at zero and let's see if we could get the dimensions of this thing here So it's about 16.0 and they're saying it's 16.1. So they probably either round it up or my thing needs to be adjusted slightly, but let me get that. There it is. So it's about 16.1. That's about pretty accurate. And then 54.4, that should be maybe from here to here, from, from side to side. Let me get that in there. 15.3. Bumper to bumper. 54.4 is what they're saying. So I'm getting 54.04, um, pretty good. And then in terms of um, top to bottom, for, this could be, it's gonna be actually right here to here. Uh, they're saying it's 61.2 in dimension. So let me put that there, let's close this up. 61 point about two. That's your dimensions, all right? So there you guys have it in millimeters. That's your dimension of this watch. It is a pretty big watch, uh, but it is a beautiful piece of timepiece. All right, so now um, I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys a macro view and get you guys a good look and good, very close-up look of this watch. You can take it in and then we'll be right back.
All right, guys, and there you have it, the first look at the GWG 2000. I can't wait to do more videos on this particular model. Um, like I said, moving forward, the next video will be an operating, how to operate the actual watch, how to set the time, how to use the different barometer, ther uh, thermometer, all those different functions and whatnot. And then thirdly, and lastly, I will do a video on comparing the GWG 1000 versus the GWG 2000 to get you guys a good look. Um, and then I'll ask you guys if there's any videos you want me to do. Maybe you do a comparison between the GPRB 1000, the large one, <laughs> and uh, maybe other watches or any series. But till then, I'll see you guys very soon. This is Chicago. Holla at your boy. I'm rocking my 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 I'm rocking my